This is a look. All right. <laughs> Good morning guys, it is day two of Spookathon and I'm gonna try vlogging again, so you're welcome, I don't know. Um, I don't have that much planned for today. So my original plan was to film 60 second book reviews, but I just don't feel like it. I don't, I don't want to, I don't wanna. But I do wanna work on booktube stuff um, and like blog stuff. I have a blog, I don't know if I mentioned that. It's really just like me cross posting my booktube stuff but yeah step one let's fix this step two um, I'm gonna show you guys kind of my type a booktube process I don't know and then we're gonna read because I didn't read as much yesterday as I should have I read or not I should as I wanted to uh, we got back from the movie pretty late and then I actually had kind of a hard time falling asleep because we were at the movie until about 10 o'clock and man, how do people with glasses do this? Like it's so, I have like windows for eyes. We got back from the movie pretty late and then I wanted to edit that vlog and then I, uh, I finished that but I didn't get as much reading done as I wanted to. That's long story short. So I think I got like 20 more pages read in Bluebird Bluebird. Um, but yeah, I need to read and I want to. So that's what we're actually going to do. I'm gonna go fix this and I will see you guys in a few. All right guys, doing better, still dressed, just the coziest of cozies. Like it's so cold here compared to what it usually is. It's been 80, 90, 100 for the last like four months, probably longer than that. What is, it's October, like since April, seven months. Seven months of like 80s, 90s and 100 and now it's 40 or 50 degrees outside. And it's just, it's so amazing. I wanted to give a quick reading update and just kind of talk about my reading strategy. So um, I have a lot of stuff that I need to get done during the day. And one of my favorite ways to read is actually, I saw this debate going on on Twitter this week and it kind of hurts my heart a little bit just because sometimes we don't imagine each other complexly and it like turns into a an attack. Um, but I listen to a lot of the books that I read. For my purposes, because I'm reviewing books and because I think the narrator in an audiobook is important, I also want to make the distinction that I'm not just listening to the book, I'm listening to my Kindle read the book. And I love it. If you have a Kindle and you don't use this function, you should be, because it is great. You got another one of those? He heard. Darren turned to see an aging black woman standing next to him. I like too that I can adjust like the speed that it reads to me at, because sometimes I need it at a one. But sometimes I need it out too. Um, I'm, but I'm able to like keep my place and then switch to reading because I really like reading before I go to bed. Um, and if I'm only listening to an audiobook, I can't do that while making progress um, if I want to read it. So love, love my Kindle, love. But that is what I did while getting ready and making myself some breakfast. And so now I'm going to switch to something else. I'm gonna eat a waffle. Hmm, delicious. They're so good. They're just, they're cinnamon and they're just amazing. And I'm going to Pomodoro Method for probably the next like two hours. So for 20 minutes, I'm going to read. Then for 20 minutes, I'm going to clean. And then for 20 minutes, I'm going to work on blog, booktube stuff. And then we're gonna start back over. Do it again until we feel really good about all the things that we've accomplished and just, you know. For reading, I'm gonna focus on Toil and Trouble because I have still only read the first short story in that and I need to get to it. Um, for cleaning, I need to do dishes, I need to do laundry, I need to iron, I got stuff to do for that. Oh, fun comments! Editing and uploading Spookathon day one, and so that's been super fun. Um, the third thing I'm gonna do is booktube and blogging and commenting. I have a, if you guys are familiar with bullet journals, then you've probably seen a habit tracker. And I basically created a habit tracker, but for booktube. So I have a list of different things that I wanna get done for each video that I've made. A blog post, tweeting about it, adding it to Goodreads. Um, and then I just make a little very satisfying um, red block. Cross it out once I've achieved it. 
and um, I love it. It makes me feel really good. And it also reminds me to do things that I would forget to do, like adding closed captioning, which is really important, um, and also like just cross-posting, because we put a lot of time and energy into making videos and making sure that they're everywhere that someone might need or want to find them is super helpful. So I'm gonna work on that, and I will get back to you once I am done. Oh my gosh, you guys. Okay, I'm taking a Pomodoro break because I just watched um, Meet the Wheelers. I don't know, um, if you're on booktube, maybe you just watch book stuff, but I am just, at YouTube is my television, and I love Meet the Wheelers. I will link them down below. They're just, they're amazing people, but they've been trying to get pregnant for like four or more years they've had like IVF treatments that were unsuccessful but they're pregnant and I'm so excited I'm so happy for them and so I will link them down below I just think it's so like fun and encouraging to watch and I'm just I'm so excited for them so okay back to it <laughs> Just FYI, but it's the only angle that works. All right, I made it through a round of Pomodoro feeling very good about what I accomplished. Um, I actually feel so good about where I'm at with like house stuff that I'm going to take a break from cleaning and focus on blog stuff, booktube stuff, and reading. I read the second story in the Toil and Trouble short story collection um, and I liked it more just like I thought I would. It was historical fiction, which like is more my speed, but I think I liked the story more, but I think I liked the characters in the first story more. So I give the second story four stars and the first story three stars, but but I liked the writing in the second story more. I just, the characters weren't that formed. It was more like a plot thing, but it was also like more spooky. And that's kind of, that's what I'm looking for in this. And I think some stories are gonna deliver on that and some stories aren't, so you just, you never know. But um, I do like being able to try out like a bunch of different authors that I might not have tried out, so it's going great. I'm gonna make myself an egg and some salsa and have a little snack um, and read some more. I want to read at least one more short story, maybe two more short stories, um, but yeah. We get our eggs from like a local farm, Vital, Vital Farms, they're great. And every time we get one, we get like a new, it's called Vital Times. It's like the little newspaper they put together for the hatchery. Um, and there's always a bird of the month. And this month's bird, how cute is that? Her name is Timid Tamara. And she's peeking out from her leafy sanctuary. It's the little things, guys. All right. I will see you in a few. Gonna make a snack, eat a snack, read some, and I will check back in. Six and a half hours later. All right, guys, we're back at it. You are back in my microwave. Um, I just got back from picking up my son, and I picked up groceries as well. Um, I, I say I picked up because I do that grocery service. I don't know if this is like a thing other places, actually. Is it a thing other places to like order your groceries online and then go like pick them up and like have them put in your car? Is that, I don't know. It's definitely big in Texas, that's for sure. And so that's what I did. Um, brought them home and I'm fixing them now. I'm gonna have probably some soup and a sweet potato and my husband and child are gonna have some pizza because it's just one of those nights. But I wanna try and get all of this done so that by six o'clock I can watch Bookmarked. I've only been able to watch it like after the fact, um, but I'm free tonight at six. And so that's the plan. Um, last time I checked in, I said I had like all of these big reading plans. None of that happened. I didn't actually end up reading any of what I said I was going to read, so. That, that'll happen. Um, but I did watch a ton of booktube, so that is an accomplishment. Um, everyone is just like really bringing it in their videos these days, and I love it. I think it's so much fun to watch. Just like raw, 
that sounds weird not so much it's so much more fulfilling to me to watch like raw emotion about books and how people feel in the community sometimes than it is to just watch reviews all of the time although at the moment I'm kind of like I could use a book review so there's a balance there but I wonder also like for people who are part of the community like they watch videos on booktube but they don't have a booktube channel do you feel like when the videos start to lean more towards like what it's like to be a creator and like kind of the behind the booktube scenes do you feel left out or do you still feel like it's relevant because these are the concerns of people who you enjoy watching and so you kind of feel like you're part of it i don't know um just thoughts oh that's hot okay pizza's in the oven i'm gonna start my sweet potato and my soup and then i'll check back in later maybe i'll check in during bookmarked or i'll check in after i've read some more I hope I read some more today. I really need to. Um, I need to focus on my buddy read because I feel bad. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm behind. I haven't messaged her yet. So, I'll let you know. I'll be back. I'll be back eventually. Eventually.